Hey guys! Today we're making a pretty simple dish, we're making mac and cheese. It might not be the most appealing dish visually, but it does give off a really cozy vibe and a few of you have been asking for it, so I really hope you'll enjoy. You want to start off with a light yellow toned dough color or light pasta color, and then roll out some really thin snakes. Cut off a small piece, and then for the majority of them, you can just give them a slight bend. And for some of them, you want to poke each end using a needle tool. Then you want to pre-bake, and I did make a few more than I was going to need, just in case. Next, I arranged some of the pasta color inside of this small dish. The dish I'm using is a ceramic one I made myself, but you can also make one from Palmer clay. I do have a super old tutorial on my main channel, which you will be able to find by searching for cooking dish. But you can also find stuff like this either in miniature shops or by searching on Google or eBay. For the cheese mixture, I mixed TLS and acrylic paint. I used mainly white acrylic paint and then a tiny bit of the two other shades. And the ratio of acrylic paint to TLS is about half and half. Spread this over the clay base. And then add the pre-baked pieces of pasta on top. I first added the ones without the holes and I also made sure to spread some of the cheese mixture on the sides of the dish because food like this does tend to bubble up in the oven and so you do want to make the dish look messy as well. I then took the pieces of pasta that had the holes and placed them one by one. I mixed a bit more of the colored paint into the cheese mixture and then spread this on top. I am thinking of posting two videos next week, so if you do want to see that, please give this video a thumbs up. The reason why is because next week is my birthday week and I do want to post something in celebration of that. And I'd also like to post something that's very suitable for Valentine's Day. One is going to be food and one is not. Then bake. After baking, you're gonna add some shading to make it look cooked. I first added one shade of soft pastel using a wet brush. If you're new to this channel, I do recommend you check out the info box. In there, you'll find some links to some useful videos about baking and the tools I use. And you'll also find a link to a blog post I've made which kind of explains what this channel is about, what I'm going to be posting on here and what I'm not going to be posting. You'll also find a link to my FAQ, which answers a lot of the questions I get almost every single day. Then seal that with a matte place. If you have problems with the pastel bleeding once you add the glaze, you can either try to be more careful and barely touch the food with the bristles of the brush, or try to add less glaze to the brush. 
I also found that using better quality pastels in some cases does help. I added some more shading using acrylic paint, starting out with the lighter shade and then going in with the darker one. And if you're anything like me and like to make your food look like it's been in the oven for a bit too long, you can go in with an even darker shade of paint. I also added some paint to the dish itself just for some additional detail and for this I used all three shades. Then seal that with a glass glaze and you're done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please support the video and channel by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you in the next tutorial.